Hello everybody, Innovate 7 Games here for another video. Today is episode 3. I'm uploading this a few days later than I wanted to, but it's out. Episode 4 will be coming soon. Uh, I'm sitting in front of Dragonheart's house right now, and uh, still not done. So hopefully this will get done uh, before we <laughs> leave the server, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into episode 3. Okay guys, so now I'm going to grab my diamond pickaxe grab my bucket and fill it with water and then we're gonna go down and grab some obsidian so that we can okay really thank you <laughs> but then we're gonna go down and uh grab some obsidian so that we can make a enchantment table and hopefully get some fortune on this pick so we can go mine those diamonds we found earlier so i'm gonna go do that now looks like that is one that's two i really i forgot how long this takes this takes forever we're gonna be here a while three four five we are halfway there now Okay, so this is going to be number 15. I grabbed a little bit extra so we can make a nether portal as well as an enchantment table and have a little bit left over for later if we need it for anything. So now I'm going to head my way out of the cave and I'll see you guys when I get to the house. Alrighty, so I got back to the house. I started smelting some glass up for the enchantment table. I put my obsidian in here and uh, yeah, now we wait. Okay, so as you can see, I got the materials needed and uh, now we just have to craft it. So my plan is to actually make a small market slash shop area uh, that people can pay diamonds for level 30 enchantments. Because I think most of the people on this SMP don't want to hunt for a ton of leather and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to have at least early game. I'm going to try and get people to pay diamonds for level 30 enchantments. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm not sure where I'm going to build the market shop yet. I should probably do it near my house so people know it's mine. But we'll see. Here would be kind of nice, but the enchantment table by itself takes up quite a bit of room, and I don't know if I want to commit to taking up that much space with the shop, so we'll see. I'll try and pick a spot here quick. So I think I've decided on where to put the shop. I'm going to try and make a sort of mystical cave here, sort of like the mine, but just make it mystical -lier, I guess, and uh, then we'll sell enchantments from there. I think it fits the theme quite well, and it'll stay kind of out of the way for now. And then maybe later, once we don't really need an enchantment shop anymore, I can use it for something else. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do for now. Okay, so I got done. I kind of just finished it all with stone, dug it out a little bit, put the enchantment table over here, and then the books will span through here. And I got to still make a chest for people to put uh, the diamonds in. But this is good enough for now. So I now need to find some glass, and I'm thinking of using flint and steel and some netherrack to uh, sort of spice this up a bit and decorate it a bit more, so that's what I'm going to go do now. Another update. I made this little path here. I think it looks quite good. Added this little sign that says Enchanted Cave Shop. Still have to figure out where uh, I'm going to take money from, but for now, uh, this is pretty nice. So now I've got to go grind out some bookshelves, which takes a lot of leather that I don't have. So it's time to go kill a ton of cows, probably about 30 of them. My goal is to go up here on the top of this mountain and kind of use it to scope out the area and see if we can see any cows, but I'm not sure, we'll see. Seeing a lot of goats. I would kill them, but I'm not sure if they give you leather. I know the llamas do, uh, but, or are they alpaca? I don't know what they're called in this game, but yeah, I know they do. But I'm not sure if these goats do. I guess I can test it out. So if I die, uh, remember me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's try. Wow. Okay, first of all, that was really easy. Second of all, we got nothing. What is going on here? I'm finding all the sheep, all the pigs. I'm even finding llamas, but no cows. I think there might be llamas and alpacas. There might be both. I want to say they give you leather, though. There we go, yeah, yeah, so they do give you leather. Okay then, I'm going to be killing some of these then, I guess, when I see them. But this is the only ones I've seen so far, but there's quite a few of them, so hopefully we just keep finding these and cows. All I really need is leather, so if we keep finding them like this, then we should get it in no time. I guess I'm gonna leave the pigs for now. I just don't really need them, so I'm mostly killing these guys for the wool, so pigs will be fine for now. But we ended up getting seven, so uh, what about two books? That's okay though, we'll see, we'll keep going. Or no, two bookshelves. You get three books when you craft them, so yeah, I think that's two bookshelves worth. That's okay. 
We'll keep it going. Keep looking for cows and anything else that drops leather, I guess. Okay, I've actually gone about 300 blocks away from the house now, so I might want to start turning around even though we don't have all the leather we need. Or maybe I'll just kind of change directions just so I don't go straight all in one direction and get too far away. So we stumbled across some pumpkins or a pumpkin patch, I guess. I'm just going to swipe a couple of these and use them as a farm back home, I guess, so we have some pumpkins to start off with. I'll, I'll probably grab them all, but I'm not sure if I'll use them for much right now, but we'll have them for the future. Let's go, more cows, you know how it is. I count three. Yeah, I count three, so let's see. Hopefully we just get more leather than we have. This is a short version at this point, we just need leather of any kind. Okay, after killing all three, we ended up with 12. So unless I see some more on the way back, we're gonna stick with 12 for now. Let's go, four. I'll always take extra. And he didn't drop any leather, unfortunately, but we'll keep it going. Hopefully you find some more on the way back. Or llamas, that works too. Llamas actually drop a decent amount of leather, it seems like. Meanwhile... Let's go! I'm gonna see myself out. Okay, so I was walking back to base, and I found this. Nice little village. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, if you think I'm gonna help you with this raid, you're sort of mistaken, I'm leaving. I'll probably just swipe your hay bales, because I can, and then I'm gone. Dude, this Iron Golem's doing work! He's already taken out like half the raid before I'm even- well over half the raid. He's taken out like three quarters of the raid before I even got over here. Ooh! And I just noticed something else. First of all, three cows. Second of all, horses give you leather! And there's a lot of them! Hmm. Yes, I completely forgot that they give you leather. Okay. It's gonna be a minute, but hopefully we should get a ton of leather from this. Between the cows and all the horses that we've seen, we should get a lot of leather. Okay, that's the horses done, and we ended up with 19 leather. Now it's time to hunt down these cows. Come on, I know I saw another one over here somewhere. Where'd you go? So now, I wrote down the coordinates, and now I'm continuing my journey back to the base. And I saw some more, some more llamas. I'm not sure if I will be able to kill all of these with my current tools. I might have to beat them up with a shovel or something, but we do what we must, I suppose. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I gotta beat you up slowly with a shovel. I could be more brutal. I could use my fist. At least I'm a little bit nice. Or I could use, like, cobblestone and just beat him with a rock. I'm not gonna kill any of the goats because I don't think they actually drop any leather. So I'm gonna leave them for now. But maybe I'm wrong. Wow. We are actually getting pretty lucky with these llamas now. Another six or seven llamas here. Hopefully... We should have enough leather with all the llamas and stuff we started seeing recently. The llamas are actually helping me with the zombies. I mean, they keep spitting at them, which doesn't do any damage and only delays the inevitable, but... I don't know, I still appreciate the effort. Okay, back to the house. Okay, my calculations are correct. We should be showing up to the base right about now. Also, we got... Dragonheart did something with his base. Let's see what it's looking like. I'm really interested to see where he takes it. I don't know. We'll see. It's an interesting color palette, but it can work. Anyway, we are back at the house. We have the cave here. We got tons of leather. And now we just have to make it into bookshelves and use that on our enchantment table. And then we can go use the fortune that we get from the enchanting table and go mine up all the extra diamonds we have sitting underground, just ready to mine. And that's what I'm excited for. So right now, I'm heading out this direction to try and find some flowers and just kind of mess around while the sugar cane grows, because I can't really make any books until my sugar cane grows more, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, just got done picking up my favorite flower by far, blue orchids. I'm definitely going to be putting these in my house. I think they look really good in builds, and... Yeah, I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna put them next to my windows. Okay, finally got it done. I went and grabbed some lapis lazuli just now. And as you can see, we have a full level 30 enchantment. I also got fortune, which is perfect because I need fortune 3 for my pickaxe. So whenever we get level 30, I'll put this on my diamond pick. And yeah, I'm excited. But I only have 19 levels right now, so we're gonna have to go get some levels. I probably won't go just for levels, but my plan is to head in there.
head in the nether and see what we find. Okay, three episodes in, and we're finally going into the nether. First time, let's go. My plan is to just go here and mine all the quartz for two reasons. I can sell it later because I know that people want to buy it from me, especially if they have to go really far, right? Because if I mine all of it around the portal, then they're going to have to go further to find it. So they might want to buy it from me. Second of all, it's going to be the best way to get levels right now. So that's why I'm doing it. So I'm just going to do like a one hour quartz mining session or something like that. And I'll be back. Let's go, just got level 30. It's now time to get my diamond pickaxe. I got the lapis, I got level 30, I got level 30 enchants on the uh, table. And now, let's see what we get. Three, two, one. Let's go! Let's go! Unbreaking three, efficiency four, let's go. That's probably just about the best roll I could have got. Let's go. You know what time it is now? It's time to go get those diamonds sitting down there. You already know. So, there was an unfortunate mishap causing me to lose about 20, 20 levels. It's not good. I was killed uh, ruthlessly by Wyatt. Out of the blue for no reason. I will be getting revenge. You guys will see it. And it will be ruthless. It'll be painstaking. It'll be impossible to come back from. But we're getting diamonds right now. So it's time to go pick those up. We have the four or five that are sitting over here. I'm not sure. Five. And we have fortune three on this pick. So that goes to 12. So from five to 12, we over doubled how much we would get. Now, it's time to go get the others over here. Here we go. Right over here. Yep. So, yeah. Just three diamonds. Three goes into 15. So, we didn't get any extra, unfortunately, there. But, that's okay. Back to the house. Okay, guys. So, I have just made it back to the house with the diamonds. I'm gonna go run inside and put these away in a minute. But, first, I gotta leave you guys. So, that's gonna be the end for episode three. Make sure you guys tune in for episode 4. Uh, I know this video came out about two days later than I said it would, uh, but I'm running a little short on editing time. So, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did end up enjoying, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, I'll see you guys all next time.